Welcome to Nigeria Watch Blog. My name is Ewase. Please, if you haven't already, kindly subscribe to the channel and also like, share, and comment. I'd love to hear your opinion on the matters we'll be talking about today. It is actually yet another beautiful day to have nothing good to talk about Nigeria. I love my country. I'm a patriotic Nigerian. Like, I love Nigeria. But let's be frank with ourselves. Nothing good is happening in this country. Have you seen the number of cases of missing people? Every day you open the social media, you see missing person here and there. I don't know how it used to be before the era of social media. I don't know if I don't think it was this much. To be honest, I don't think it was this insane. Either it's a school students coming out from school or someone went to work, they not they, they can't they can't find them, like they actually left the house to go to work when either they didn't make it to the office or you didn't make it back home and nothing is being done about it. Yes, welcome to my beloved country, Nigeria. Instead, people take matters into their own hands. We have people like lawyers, um, people that start making inquiries ASAP on social media to find a way to get these people back. Sometimes they're lucky enough to come back alive. Sometimes, Sadly, they don't make it. I mean, we all know about the, the recent case of Enobon. We know how that ended. She was, she's been buried. She's gone and buried. When the suspect was being interviewed, God. When the suspect was being interviewed, they gave him a seat to sit down and he was feeling so comfortable. And the inscription on his shirt. This this guy, who is allegedly the killer, wasn't dealt with in a way that pleased me personally. And again, the questions we are being thrown at him was quite unnecessary. We are quite unnecessary, if you ask me. One of, I think one of the most annoying questions was, are you, was she in love with you? Let it not look like I'm exaggerating. Take a look. Your father, your father been there when this thing happened. Are you remorseful? Are you remorseful of the entire incident? We don't, we don't sound and look remorseful. You said if you don't, you said don't. justice should prevail. Now, if what that justice, justice means taking your life, taking your life, will you, will you readily agree to losing your life? For what yes. you Were you in love with the girl? Which love? So what is your advice okay, to young man? I think your advice just, to young men. Like Yep, that was asked. But again, I love my country. <sighs> I hope with the number of kidnappings, death, insecurity, something is done. Like immediately, something needs to be done. Let's talk about the issue of open, open um, grazing. Apparently, the southern governors banned open grazing. And we all know why, right? We know. This is in order to protect us, the citizens, from the so-called headsmen, the Fulani headsmen. Well, since the Fulani headsmen value the lives of their cows more than human beings, Mind you, the southern governors didn't ban grazing entirely. They are simply trying to put a stop to open grazing. 
and they are saying this should be done in a proper way like buy a land or rent a land and do this thing properly not going around killing people in their farmlands because of cow it is not an attack to the northern people it is not an attack but i guess they've kind of misunderstood it or misinterpreted it to look like we're coming at them it's merely ban on open grazing they didn't say you should not wear your cattle they didn't say you should not bring your cattle but buy lands rent lands there's no need for violence there's no need to kill people there's no need to destroy people's properties buy land rent land so those some people are bringing up the issue that if they start buying land it's a way of trying to occupy places and they're going to start occupying some places in um in the south <sighs> anyway i watched the interview with abubakar malame the attorney general and it seems this thing is going to a different dimension than we thought again the southern governors didn't ban grazing for crying out loud. They didn't ban, they didn't say do not come to our lands to take care of your cows. They're only trying to find a way to make it safer for us by even giving you land. Like, do you want land? Okay, buy, rent, hire instead of killing people. So why is Abu Bakr Malami seeing it as a threat to the Nottinghams? This is what he said. Well, uh, it's about constitutionality. Within the context of the freedoms expressed in our constitution, enshrined in our constitution, can you deny a right of a Nigerian? For example, it's as good as saying um, perhaps maybe the northern governors coming together to say that they prohibit uh, spare parts trading in the north. Does it hold water? Does it hold water for a northern governor to come and state expressly that he now prohibits spare parts trading in the north? Now, these are my questions. Has any spare parts dealer killed any northern? Have they ever trespassed into their land and damaged their properties? Has any spare part dealer ever caused any form of insecurity in the country at large, like in the entire country? Watching the interview, for me, is the audacity of when he said, It's as good as saying, um, perhaps maybe the northern governors coming together to say that they prohibit uh, spare parts trading in the notes. Does it hold water? Does it hold water? My guy. Does it hold water? How can you compare selling or dealing with spare parts with Fulani headsmen that have AK-47? Yes. These guys go to rare cattle ready for anything and anybody and you don't give a heck about you why is this even up for argument don't you see the don't you see the act of open grazing has led to loss of lives farmlands damages of people's properties and then the attorney general Abubakar Malami also said this. If you are talking of a constitutionally guaranteed right, the better approach to it is to perhaps, you have spoken earlier about the constitutional amendment, is to go back to ensure the constitution is amended. The constitution freedom and liberty of movement, among others, is established by the constitution. If by an inch you want to have any compromise over it, the better approach is go, to go back to the National Assembly. Full grazing should 
be prohibited and see whether you can have the desired perhaps constitu uh, support for the constitutional amendment in that respect but it is indeed a dangerous position for any governor in Nigeria to think that he can bring about any compromise, any compromise on the freedom and liberty of individual to move around. Now, if you're speaking of taking this to the National Assembly and adding it into the Constitution, alcohol beverages are prohibited in a lot of places in the North. We respect your religion, but hey, people are talking about lives here, man. We're talking about human lives and the right to live. Because does the law permit grazing of farmland and as part of it killing people by headsmen? Let's be sincere. More than six ethnic groups banned open grazing. But we know only one is known to deal with spare parts like even comparing um, grazing of cattle to dealing with spare parts doesn't make sense <laughs> doesn't make sense cattle spare parts. how did that how how did we get there in my opinion I think um, Abu Bakr Malame is deliberately coming for the evil businesses in the north. Because you can't see this as a mere coincidence or just a slip of tongue. No. Let's be sincere with ourselves. Now, we remember when Samuel Odom said the president is working with the Fulani men to take over Nigeria. And in this recent development, he said that people who oppose southern governors on open grazing, they have hidden agenda. What do you think? Mind you, the comment section is open. Drop your opinion. I'd really love to hear what you have to say. Also, the governor of Ondo State wrote to me, released a statement in response to Malami's initial interview. He said, our decision is irreversible and will be enforced. The AGF is quoted to have said that this reasoned decision, among others, is akin to banning all spare parts dealers in the northern part of the country and is unconstitutional. It is most unfortunate that the AGF is unable to distill issues as expected as a, as a senior advocate. Comparing this anachronism, which has led to loss of lives, farmlands and property, and endangered untold hardship on the host communities, communities with buying and selling of auto parts is not only strange, it annoyingly betrays a terrible mindset. In conclusion, the decision to ban open grazing stays. It will be enforced with vigor. This has to be the most, most courageous statement I've seen so far from any Southern leader in Nigeria. The past six years of this Buhari's regime has been spent discussing cows, Ruga settlements, cattle colony and no progressive vision so far i really do admire the southern governor wrote to me and, and i hope other governors also stick to their grounds on this matter don't forget if you haven't subscribed already kindly do please drop your comments i would love to read your opinion on this issue of open grazing being banned by southern governors speaking of southern governors Governor Ben Ayade of Cross River State has moved from PDP to APC. First of all, I hope this doesn't end in premium tears. Because. Okay. And commitment of the president. Have you seen the progress I've made so far? 
having seen that certain pressure occasioned by the increasing social media manipulation to create a, a level of hysteria, having recognized the challenges of our youth and issues of one government and their specific challenges, therefore, it's my responsibility as the leader of the party in prosperous state, as the leader of the people in prosperous state from a political perspective, to do what I can to assist Mr. President succeed. It is in this process and recognizing the role of prosperous state. A state has been reduced to one to body in spirit and soul. A state whose revenue resources have been taken. A state whose territorial boundaries have been interfered with. It's my responsibility to reach a personal state to the center. I therefore, on behalf of the entire people of personal state, to the extent that I believe in the philosophy and idea of peace and unity, that personal state is today formally declared as an APC state. This man's English alone can give me high blood pressure. Wow. Anyway, Ben and Ayade decamping to APC shouldn't come as a surprise to most of us. Because it's been clear from day one. We all saw this day coming, but we all just live in denial and hope it never actually comes to pass. But here we are. And not just that, he is also the APC leader of the state. <sighs> Today is the day of blush and bliss. If you're from Cross River State, you understand what I mean. I mean, you don't necessarily have to be from Cross River State to understand what I'm saying anyway. Because who doesn't know that phrase? The blush and <laughs> blush and bliss. I almost cried because I knew how prepared I was, but it, it didn't end the way I had dreamt for the state. I, I just think that somewhere God will just help me because I really wish I could really help. Uh, I really wish I could help. Uh, it's very painful, truly, truly. I can't put five years and I've not been able to do the change I wished. Governor Ben Ayade came into office in 2015 and to date, he has not completed any single project he started in Cross River State. If I'm wrong, please, the comment section is very open for you to notify me on where I'm wrong. And I'll come on here and I'll apologize to you for being wrong. So kindly tell me one project he started and finished. Is it a super highway or a number of cars he used as convoy with loud sirens around the streets of Calabar? Mind you, I'm from Cross River State, so I know what I'm talking about. Cross River State used to be the number one tourism destination in Nigeria. As a matter of fact, in Africa. But I'll leave you to visit the state so you can judge for yourself. Thanks so much for watching. This is Niger Watch Blog, and my name is Ewase. Kindly subscribe to the channel, share, like, and comment. Thank you so much.